Beirouz Tabani and Michael Crizo. You guys selected this one. At least a certain percentage of you voted on this one. Part of your fan requested Friday lineup. But anyway, very interesting comparison, nonetheless. But what makes it even more interesting is these two guys will be trying to secure a ticket to the Olympia. Both of them coming up at the M Pro Classic. Here's them just hitting some, you know, some clowning shots, just fooling around, you know. But of course, the M Pro Classic, it's not for a little while. We have, uh, just off the top of my head, probably 53 days, 22 hours, and 5 minutes and 30 seconds. Uh, 29 things of that nature so it's in june it's in june so look for these two dudes to be yes trying to secure a ticket to the olympia but that's not what this video is about it is about a pitcher comparison that's what you guys request time and time again i work on other projects as well I'm working on a certain video of a certain uh non-ability to hit every mandor mandatory poses the, the worst ever way to hit them things of that nature but uh, i think that these two in the front double bicep pose will not be in the equation they're both expanding their their rib cages their lats holding their arms up nice beirus he could straighten his arms out a little bit a la michael crizo but in both cases yes they're striking the front double supremely beirus He's not as big. This is 2023. The Romania? Yes. And 2023 Prague. These these events were side by side. So they have had the exact same amount of time. Pretty much. Pretty much. Not the exact. but Time to, uh, to grow. And I have to say, Beirut is going to need to grow in the legs. Surprisingly. Now, Grizo, he's been working on that aspect. And he looks pretty complete. He honestly does. Beirut's, his lats are bigger. I think he's more devastating in that aspect. He's got good arms. As you could see from that first little picture, they're side by side. It was pretty neat. They were doing some uh, clowning shots, like I said. But yeah, Crizo. Nobody's going to beat him in the arms. Come on, come on. What planet are you guys from? Here's the front lats, Brett. Oh, yeah. I can hear you guys now. But Mark's Max Muscle... Using this version of Beirut's is the 22, uh, Prague for, uh, for Beirut's? Is it, is it maybe 2021? I don't know. It's ridiculous to use this version. Doesn't make sense. Michael Crizo, he's one step ahead in the wheel department. Two, two steps ahead. But that, uh, Beirut's wheels have com improved much, much more. Even at the other, uh, Prague. Or Romania, Romania, I'm sorry. Progs for uh, Greece. <laughs> Here's the side. I'll label it. I'll label it. Romania. Muscle Fest versus Prague. Pro. Now, upper body. Crezo's huge. Big man's chest. Nice arms. Delts. Beirut Stabani's big, too. He's very big. Midsection. Crezo... Uh, What's going on? I, w I wasn't done. I wasn't done talking. And they just, you know, right to the side track. Actually, no. Bring that back. Bring that back. I was talking about the side chest development. Thank you very much. Now, the lower half, I do not like how Beirut is squatting down. But I showed that clip from the first. He, they were hitting a side chest, too. And he actually did. Food for thought. He was holding his far leg straighter. So he might be striking it different. But having said that, Beirut is winning on the condition of those glutes. Look at that. Very impressive. Hanging hamstring as well. Now, now you may put the, uh, the side tricep on. Upper body, it seems like Crizo has the muscle where he needs it. But it just seems like Beirut is put together. Like a bulldozer. Look at that. Look at the hanging hamstring again. And sharp, sharp glutes. Balance of the leg. I mean, Crizo all day long. He's very aesthetically pleasing. Calves. Calves. But do they even look at those babies? Now, the arm is good for Beirut. He just doesn't have a lowly inserted tricep or as low. So, yes. I'd probably lean towards Michael Crizo coming out of the... 
Better the four shots, I guess. Close, though. Here's the back. And that's why we were seeing the glutes from the side. Oh, my goodness. Now, glute size is irrelevant to glute condition. I'm more interested in the, the condition. Because that's your last storage for your, your body fat, or water, things of that nature. And both of these guys are in tip-top condition. Neither of which have really dug out hamstrings like your Samson Dow does. Things of that nature. Look at the calves on Creezo. Very difficult to judge this one. I think Creezo has the width, the size. He has the, the stage presence. Huge. But then again, Beirut Tabani has strided glutes. Very good separation in the back as well. Look at that. Good lats, good lats. Here's the rear double. Oh my goodness. I guess there's some, some dugout hamstrings now for Beirut Tabani. He's going tippy toe. He forgot to flex them in the other picture there. So yeah, using this, he he is more strided than Crizo in the lower half, but Crizo's not out of shape. Striated glutes. It's hard to see, but he is he is conditioned. Giant termite sacks for calves too. Neatly drawn out back. What does that mean? Well, it means means quite a bit in bodybuilding. When all things are created equal. Clean, neat, lat insertions like Beirut's Tabani has. Thick, thicker too. They can get a victory over the less drawn out back lats of Michael Creezo. But Creezo looks like he's bigger. And his delts are a poppin'. Creezo's delts are some of the best IFBB has to offer. And he is... Oh, here's the absent thigh. Again, they're... We gotta wait till I'm done, guys. Could have said something funny. I, I, th I think I did have a, a boomer, a hilarious joke. Anyway, anyway, yeah, yeah. See, I think that's all I was gonna say. Yeah, see, see, yeah. Um, Beirut. I thought he was sharper in the quads from my memory, but uh, I don't know. Doesn't seem to be. He has an excellent beard. I'll give him that, but. I just don't think that he's doing enough to say that he's destroying Creezo or even beating him in the, in the abs and thigh pose. I'm not going to say I'm going to give it to Creezo, but I probably would. I probably would, in fact. Here is the most muscular, and there was no crab position. I couldn't find a single for the life of me. I couldn't find a single, not even one. Crab position, most muscular from this Beirut's Tabanese, baby please, Prapa. except for this one. I couldn't find one except for this one. This is when they were doing their clowning shots, you know, pose, slapstick, do it, do it now, do it yesterday. But yes, he's out angling, Carrizo, I'll tell you right now for sure, but he's huge, he's huge. So, does that make my uh, decision any different? No, no, no. I'm going to I'm gonna say something here. It might upset some people. I think the conditioning was actually very close. Those stroided glutes of Beirut's are... They're huge, and you can't miss them. But Creezo's were just as stroided. And I don't award a big badonkadonk over a little badonkadonk. Like a bicep or a chest or things of that nature. You know, I'm so... And the balance, Creezo has the balance. Absolutely. More ripped chest here, but Creezo, he's more ripped in the arms, maybe. He's got, got a bigger, better set of arms, I would suggest. <laughs> Traps, Creezo's winning on mostly everything, but the balance of the upper and lower half, and this is the, the funny thing, that Creezo's usually battling against the elite in the IFBB, because he has, has needed to put on some size on the wheels. And he is battling it out with those guys. And he is defeating Beirut to Benny on the the size of the quad. So, realistically, I do have Michael Creezo winning this one. And for some reason, why do you guys think that I hate Michael Creezo? I don't, I don't hate Michael Creezo. I just often have him compared with the best of the best. And sometimes he does fall... Uh, 
second place. You getting first here. Bayer was to Benny getting second place. Congratulations to him. You know, I always placed second. I always placed second. Usually, usually, I wrestled. Second is a loss. It's a joke, guys. Hit thumbs up on the video. Subscribe. Have a nice one.